Hey Williamsburg, this is Mike Huetta, and I want to welcome you to this week's Wednesday prayer meeting. This week we're coming to you from a bluff overlooking Crystal Beach, and um, pray that you'll be blessed as uh, we take time for you to just meditate on God's creation. I wanted to start off with uh, a psalm, it's from one, Psalm 113, verse 3, and it, it reads, From the rising of the sun, the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. So let's take some time right now to praise him for his uh, wonderful uh, works and creation, and, uh, and we'll come right back. enjoyed that time. Um, I know for me, when I looked out at these waves, I, I just uh, just sense God's order. Um, he has uh, order in creation. Um, I sense uh, just uh, His peace, uh, His gentleness as I looked at the waves. Um, it's just amazing how God speaks to us through creation. And uh, today, uh, we're going to be uh, starting with uh, a poem uh, by my friend Evasia Holly, who some of you might know uh, from last year's Connect meeting in November. She shared uh, a lot of her poetry uh, during that time. And so today, she actually wrote a poem regarding this COVID crisis that I know will bless you. So she'll be uh, starting off with that and then also sharing a prayer. And then also, uh, Wadi Oshinaka will be also leading us in prayer today as well. So I pray that uh, we'll be blessed uh, during this program. Hi, my name is Evasia Holly, and I'm a part of Catalyst Christian Community. And I just wanted to share with you a journey that I've been going on for a long time. It's a journey of learning to hear God's voice amidst the silence amidst the struggle. And especially in this time when everything is not what we knew it used to be. And so I wrote this poem about the journey between me and God in this moment of silence. And the first two stanzas are me talking to God and the rest is what God has spoken back to me. So I wanted to share this poem with you. It's called The Song of Silence. I'm sitting here in silence as the world has been shut down, but there's a groaning in my spirit that is rising up from all around. I praise you for the provisions that you have given me every day, that, and despite my inner silence, you have words you want to say. I have created you for this moment. And this did not catch me by surprise. In these moments of your silence, I heard your silent cries. I see you in isolation. But you are not there all alone. For with me right there beside you, in your heart, I have a home. I know what you are thinking. Is there a new normal here on earth? But do you see all that is happening? It's something new that is giving birth. There's a new way of connecting that were rarely used before. And now despite the distance, you are connecting more and more. 
I see the masks across the faces, but their faces I clearly see. But it causes some confusion as you can't see their identity. You are learning to be authentic and not save face amidst the storm. Because in the vulnerability, that is where I will transform. So, in this new transformation, wake up and ask me what's new today. And I will give songs that break the silence, that will greet you every day. So in this moment, I just want to take this time to just let the Holy Spirit, let God speak to you through the struggle, through the silence, through the uncertainty. So God, I just pray for those who wake up every morning and it's a quiet house. The only sound is their own voice. And you want, they wonder when the silence will end. So God, I just pray that you will sing songs into their heart and to their mind. That you will speak words of comfort. That unexpected phone calls will come. Unexpected emails will arrive. And God, I pray for those who are struggling with finances that don't know when the next paycheck will arrive, what their job will look like. Will they have a job? God, you are our Alpha and our Omega. You know the beginning from the end. And God, I pray for mothers and fathers, grandmothers and grandparents, grandfathers who are having to step up and be teachers. I pray for first responders, those who are putting their own lives on the front line. And they haven't even had a chance to breathe and think of the impact of what they're doing. So God, I just pray blessing and provision ab above and beyond what anything you could they could even imagine. I pray for protection over their families. So God, in this moment, when we think that things are tossed like the sea, when we don't know when the ne next wave will strike, we are confident that you are provision, that you are our stronghold, and that you are our sure foundation. So God, we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for today. We thank you for what you're about to do. Something new in our lives and in our hearts. We thank you in your name, in your precious name. Amen. Hello, Wintersburg. Uh, I hope you're all doing well, staying healthy, staying safe. Uh, that reminds me. Make sure you're washing your hands and uh, keeping clean. Um, it's my privilege uh, to pray with you this week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's pray. Father, uh, as I have this opportunity to gather with my fellow brothers and sisters, uh, I'm reminded of the words you spoke uh, to your servant Jeremiah, uh, where you say, Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, let not the mighty man glory in his might, nor let the rich man glory in his riches, but let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and he knows me, that I am the Lord exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth, for in these I delight, says the Lord. Father, thank you for that reminder. Uh, in the midst of difficulty, um, those words uh, give us hope. Uh, Father, it reminds us of what 
it's important, uh, especially during times of difficulty where we can't rely on our wisdom, our might, um, or our riches. Um, Father, but Lord, um, the verse says that we're to glory in you, that we have the privilege of knowing you. And Father, we thank you for that privilege. We do glory in the knowledge of knowing who you are, what you're capable of, and why we're here. Uh, Father, thank you for just revealing uh, a little bit about you each and every day of our lives, Lord. Thank you for your word, uh, where you give us glimpses of who you are. Thank you for life experiences, where again, we see uh, all that you're capable of. Uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to see your power in creation. Thank you, Lord, that you are our rock, that in times where um, things are spiraling out of control, your sovereignty reminds us that you're always in control. Father, there is no mountain that you're uh, incapable of moving. Uh, Father, we know that no matter what difficulties we face, in this life, Father, you are there uh, for us. Uh, you are our Father. And uh, Father, you've also given us uh, your Son uh, to redeem us um, from uh, an eternal life uh, that's in our future that we don't deserve. Uh, Father, he has paid uh, the price, uh, our ransom. And because of that, Lord, we also are reminded that no matter what happens here, no matter what sufferings we go through, no matter what difficulties or trials we need to endure, no matter what illnesses or diseases that come upon us, Father, uh, in eternity, you have promised to heal us completely. And uh, Lord, you have promised us, promised us uh, a life with you. Uh, and so, uh, Father, uh, we thank you for that uh, awesome privilege to know you, and we do glory in that. Father, forgive us um, for uh, just our sinfulness, our wickedness, uh, for our evil, Lord. Uh, certainly within the last few weeks, uh, we saw that um, while we're capable of random acts of kindness and love, Lord, there's also this dark side uh, that we have within us. Uh, you did not um, uh, create that in us, Lord. Um, but Father, uh, we know that it's something that we live with, and we saw it uh, in some of the violent acts that were occurring across our country, Lord. Forgive us for that as a nation. Forgive us that for our community, Lord. Um, Father, um, forgive us for our... Um, for those times where we commit murder in our hearts through our anger. Uh, forgive us for uh, the sin of adultery that we commit in our hearts uh, through our lusts and passions for things of this world. Uh, forgive us for our greed, Lord, where we forget to be um, grateful for the things that you've blessed us with and instead focus on the things that we don't have to the point that we complain about it. Father, um, we uh, know that you are a just God, uh, that um, through your mercies, Lord, uh, we are not consumed, even though we deserve it. That through your compassion, Lord, um, we live each and every day new and afresh. Father, thank you for that. Father, we um, want to just lift up uh, our, um, our leaders to you, uh, starting at the top, Lord. Uh, we want to lift up uh, just our, our government to you, uh, for our president, for our vice president, his cabinet, um, for all three uh, major branches of government, Lord. Um, we pray that uh, you would uh, enable them uh, to make those decisions which would um, restore order in our country um, that will um, 
provide us with uh, opportunities to work um, and uh, to be able to uh, preserve our freedoms to worship, to, fr- to, to preserve our freedoms to express our opinions openly, publicly. Um, Father, we uh, want to lift up uh, those leaders of um, hospitals and our medical community. We pray that uh, you would help them to just decipher uh, and uh, root out um, those precious pearls of wisdom that we need uh, to prevent uh, another pandemic from occurring. Um, Father, we want to lift up uh, our spiritual leaders, Lord, not only for the leaders of Wintersburg, but Lord, the leaders for other churches. Uh, Father, as Uh, For those churches that um, have already started opening, Lord, uh, we pray that um, uh, their leaders are uh, gathering uh, best practices so that uh, those churches that haven't opened, that they might be able to incorporate uh, when the time comes for them to open. Uh, Lord, for those churches that uh, are continuing to meet online, including ours, Lord, Uh, I pray that uh, you would continue to enable us to meet creatively, uh, that we might be able to provide uh, content uh, that would be uplifting, encouraging, that would minister um, to uh, those that are able to tune in. Father, thank you for the technology that allows us to do that. Father, um, we want to lift up uh, Wintersburg to you, our Wintersburg leaders, starting with uh, Pastor Fred, um, we thank you. We thank you that uh, you've healed him completely. Uh, that he's on the verge of coming back um, full time. Uh, we thank you for um, uh, Pastor um, uh, Ryan, as well as um, Alex and uh, Dave. Lord, uh, we pray that uh, during um, uh, this time, Lord that you are speaking them through your word, that, um, Lord, you are protecting them uh, in those times where um, a leader sometimes experiences despair and loneliness, uh, feelings of inadequacy, Lord. We pray, Lord God, that you are there to encourage them, to hold them up. Uh, We pray for their families, Lord. Uh, We pray that you would protect them. Uh, Father, we pray that you would uh, enable them to continue to be our shepherds, Lord, to guide us through difficulties in this life, to be our spiritual mentors, Lord. Uh, Enable them to unpack um, the richness of your word uh, to us. And uh, Father, we just thank you um, for their servant's heart, Lord, and ask that you would continue to just uh, motivate them to have um, that fire uh, to be your your, your voice, uh, your hands, and your feet. Uh, Father, we just uh, pray for uh, our ministries, Lord, uh, as we are getting ready uh, to open up uh, the church. Uh, although we don't know when that time might be, Lord, we sense that it's coming close. Uh, Lord, enable them um, to um, make decisions as to uh, the best way to deliver um, the content of their ministries, Lord, uh, safely, uh, in a new and fresh and transformative way. Uh, Father, we pray for uh, our session uh, as we um, look at sort of the blueprint of transitioning over to a new denomination in EPC. Father, uh, help us uh, to be good stewards of the finances that you entrusted us, Uh, And Father, before I forget, thank you for um, just, despite the difficulties, Lord, for providing us uh, continued finances, Lord. Um, We're thankful and we know that you always give us just what we need. And so, Father, um, we want to acknowledge uh, that blessing uh, that you've um, bestowed upon Wintersburg uh, these many decades that we've been in existence. Lord, you've always been there to provide financially for our needs. Father, lastly, we just want to lift up uh, the people of Wintersburg, Lord. Um, 
we pray that during this um, time where we've had an opportunity to maybe take a break from uh, just the rat race of life that we've been in, Lord, that um, you're helping us to identify uh, the sin that we need to avoid, uh, the ministry perhaps that we need to consider serving in, um, or uh, the person that we need to consider to love. Uh, Father, I pray that um, during this time that uh, we uh, are looking at those very things. Um, Father, we uh, lift up all of these uh, prayer requests um, to Him um, who is our Redeemer, to Him who is able to present us faultless before Your glory, um, to Him who um, is uh, a friend uh, and the author and perfecter of our faith. Lord, it's in His name that we ask these things. Amen. Thank you, everyone.